ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله في الايات اللي تلوناها بدايه وإذ صرفنا إليك نفرا من الجن يستمعون القرآن فلما حضروه قالوا أنصتوا الله سبحانه وتعالى is telling us about the jinn Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم was praying Fajr prayer with the companions and when he was sent with the message Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent shuhub or meteors on the jinn or on the shayateen. Shayateen used to steal the commands. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands something for the angels and the angels pass the command from top to bottom, the shayateen used to hide and steal listen and steal that command and that's how they give the magicians sometimes correct information the prophet وسلم, said they give you one information one real information and put a hundred lie with it anyway so when prophet muhammad وسلم, sent and the jinn uh, and the shayateen every time they want to steal uh, one of the shooting stars goes after them so they realized that there is something happening on earth. That's why this is happening in the sky. So they sent their people, the shayateen and the jinn, looking everywhere to see what's going on until they came where Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was reciting in Surah Al-Fajr with the companions. So they gathered and started listening. When they witnessed it, they said, listen attentively. When they finished listening, immediately they became Muslim and they went to their people as messengers, calling them to Islam. What did they say? قَالُوا يَا قَوْمَنَا إِنَّا سَمِعْنَا كِتَابًا أُنزِلَ مِنْ بَعْدِ مُوسَى مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ يَهْدِي إِلَى الْحَقِّ وَإِلَى طَرِيقٍ مُسْتَقْنِمٍ O oh, our people, there is a book that was revealed after Prophet Musa confirms what's in the Torah and guides to a straight path. يَا قَوْمَنَا أَجِيبُ دَاعِيَ اللَّهُ وَآمِنُ بِهِ This is a, a straight call to Islam. In Surah Al-Jinn, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala قال قُلْ أُوحِيَ إِلَيَّ أَنَّهُ اسْتَمَعَ نَفَرٌ مِّنَ الْجِنْ فَقَالُوا إِنَّا سَمِعْنَا قُرْآنًا عَجَبًا يَهْدِي إِلَى الرُّشْدِ فَآمَنَّا بِهِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revelated to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that jinn were listening and this is what they said to one another we heard an amazing recitation, an amazing Quran guiding to the right path and we believed in it the jinn said amazing recitation did you ever say amazing recitation brother the human being listened to this quran day after day after day and it's like oh, it's quran how long they listen little why they thought it was amazing because they realize the message is for them. They are meant in the message just like the human, the jinn are meant. And that's why they listen attentively, meaning they drop everything and they listen attentively. They want to hear the command. And when you do that, normally you're paying attention to act upon what you did. So our problem where when it comes to the Quran, we don't listen attentively. We don't even close to listen even inattentively. 
And that is because we don't feel the responsibility. We don't feel the blessings of that Quran that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, لو أنزلنا هذا القرآن على جبل لرأيته خاشعا متصدعا من خشية الله If we had revealed this Quran on a mountain, it will crush it. The mountain will collapse from humbleness. يعني the mountain is feeling the effect of the Quran and our little heart, flesh pumping blood is not influenced by the Quran. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, ثُمَّ قَسَتْ قُلُوبُكُمْ مِنْ بَعْدِ ذَلِكْ فَهِيَ كَالْحِجَارَةِ أَوْ أَشَدُّ قَسْوَةِ That this flesh, the heart that's made of flesh, can be as hard as a rock and even harder than a rock. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us that springs comes out from between rocks. And what comes out from your heart when you hear the Quran? Hardly anything. So I think each and every one of us need to be ashamed of him and herself if they're not influenced by the Quran, if they are not attached to the Quran as much as the jinn in little. They said it was an amazing thing that we have heard. And in Surah Al-Rahman, if you remember, every time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions a bounty, He goes, فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ In which of the bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you disbelieve? The companions were silent. At the end of the surah, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Your jinn brothers and sisters were better than you. He said, O Prophet of Allah, why? He said, every time I say, فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ In which of the bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you disbelieve? They say, in none of that, O oh Allah, in none of that. And the companions did not say any of that. So don't make the jinn better than you. Act upon the Quran, attach yourself to the Quran, memorize, recite, enjoy, and let it be in your life. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik, ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruk wa atubu alayk. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.